we're rolling. What's up, boys and girls? This is Frank. And today on Vector Wednesday, this is something I was working on. I uh, started working on this about two weeks ago. Um, I was basically, I want to focus on textures and how can I bring out textures like in the skin without doing a detailed gradient mesh and in the blue jeans. So you see here, you see the skin has a little texture to it. I actually like it. It's just a, I mean, so far I've put in this about, I would say about eight to 10 hours of work into this piece. And I'm gonna take off everything I've done so far and just show you the original image. And here's the original. I'm trying to, I, I'm not going to do everything. I'm just using the original as a reference. So I'm not going to pick up this detail here. And I will work on everything I don't have so far. So I'm going to take the original off and show you what I'm working on with this texture thing. So let's bring all of these back, the ones I have so far. See the blue jeans. I got a, here I got blue jeans and I got a jeans texture. I'm gonna take the texture layer off. And when I do that, you see the jeans are, have this smooth look to them. And when I put that texture on, it gives that grainy effect. Well, actually that is the grain tool. I mean, somebody told me uh, if you use Illustrator, use a vector program, you can use those those effects and it's still vector because it's in the program. So I took that advice and decided to play around with some of the tools along in conjunction with my mesh. So this is the result of getting blue jeans without the texture, with the texture. And you see here, I picked up these little um, little stitches, you know, what I'm trying to show with the stitches. And that's just uh, the pen tool. I can take that off, and you see all the stitches that I had are gone. These colors I picked up in my mesh. And I'm going to take that texture off again. So everything here is without the stitches and without the texture. And I'm going to show you what I did to create the texture. You can see it in the skin also. The texture basically is this blue jeans layer. And I just took that layer and I made a, I clicked on it and I made a copy of it. And let me take that texture off so we ain't looking at it. I made a copy of that texture of the blue jeans. And I went to grain and this is not going to be an exact science. I mean, it went to effect. Because I didn't write down my, which I should have did. Because I, I didn't plan on making a video for it. But I didn't write down what I did. But I'm going to play around with the grain tool. If I can actually find the grain tool. Gosh. You, nothing goes right when you're trying to make a video. And that sucks. We'll just do it this way. Click on the effect gallery under effect. We'll zoom in a bit. And well, I will find this grain tool. Where are you, buddy? Texture. Come on, Frank. All right, go to texture. And go to, you got regular, uh, soft, sprinkles, which that is a no-go clumped no-go I think I'm gonna work with this regular or soft yeah like soft better and when you I'm gonna, I'm gonna use soft and I'm gonna play with these settings a bit because I want to pick up the illusion of having that blue jean texture and so right now I got mine at 30 and 55 it okay there and as you see it does come out with this jagged shape 
But what I did to take that jagged shape away, I um, made it a slightly smaller than my actual jeans that I have meshed. Do, 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 do. So there you see the jaggies. So I'm gonna take it in here, went in a little far. Just want it right before the edge. Do the same thing on this side. And I might do the same thing on the top and bottom. Let's take it away from the edge a bit so that those rough jagged areas aren't being picked up. Because that, I mean, that just, I mean, we're going for the illusion of realism here. There's a nice little textured edge on the blue jeans around the, around the uh, top of them, like that. So here, we'll zoom out a bit. It's basically what I did. I mean, it doesn't give me the exact effect. And I did the same thing for the skin also. So I'm going to delete what I just did. And I'm going to click back on the jeans texture and see what opacity I used on it. So I didn't want it to be too harsh or transparency. Didn't actually use one. Awesome. So I'm going to click on this grain and here I did use regular and I use intensity at 10 and contrast at 46 and zoom in on it so that's what it gave it still has those jaggies but like I showed you earlier I zoom I mean I just move the corners in a bit move the corners I mean the the right side and the left side and top and bottom move them in a bit so they can show smoothly on the on the actual pants gave me a nice effect did the same thing for the arms so this arm is my front arm here and here's the texture I'm gonna take it off so it has like a smooth plastic filling but that texture it gives like the grain adds subtleties into the skin so it gives a illusion of tone and, and pores to the skin and it actually gives a pretty nice effect so what I'm missing now is the strap let's look at the original alongside so I'm missing this the uh, top of this area and neck and face hand here and hand there and I don't have an idea for the background right now but I will figure out something but you can create textures without spending hundreds of hours doing those detailed gradient mesh just play around with your tools and illustrator and like I said it is in a vector program so your work will still be vector when it's all said and done but I'm a play around with this and I'm gonna try to finish it up and I'm gonna share it with you guys here on Facebook and on DeviantArt but I just wanted to show you guys just a quick way that I did some blue jean textures with the grain tool under the effects section so if you want to suggest a background just leave a comment in the section below send me a message on uh, YouTube a uh, private message and like always ladies and gentlemen Take care of yourselves and see you next time. Peace.